Did you know that you can use Squarespace to send simple invoices? You can. I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace expert and authorized trainer, and I'll show you how. All right, I'm here in my Squarespace website. So when you log into your website, you'll notice that there is now an invoicing option on the left. If you click on that, you'll get a landing page and you'll also get spaces to view invoices and projects. Now, we're not going to worry about projects because they don't really do anything yet. I think maybe this is something Squarespace is working on. But right now, when you create an invoice, you'll create a project to go along with it. So let me show you how to send an invoice and style it. And then if you haven't connected up payment methods yet, I'll show you how to do that as well. All right, we're here in my site and I already have payment methods connected because I have some commerce products. So I don't have to worry about doing that. And I'm going to start off by just clicking create invoice. You can go to the top here, create invoice or use this button. Things may look a little different as Squarespace works through this interface, but you'll find a space here to create an invoice. So I'm going to create an invoice and just add myself as a test client right now. And hit continue. And I'm going to call this, instead of project, just add test project for Christy Price. Create my project. And you'll see that I am now inside where I'll be creating an invoice. So let's go ahead and hop into styles and I'm going to click global email styles. Now, if you are using Squarespace campaigns, you're pretty familiar with how this works, but there are a few options here. You can just click quickly match your site and click a theme and it will automatically style it for you. Or you can go ahead and change colors and fonts and sections yourself. I'm going to go ahead and just click save here, save, go back to my invoice and you'll see that it's now styled with my logo and my color scheme. Okay. Now that we've styled the look and feel of the invoice, let's actually add some content to it. So you can change what it says here, invoice for and your customer's name. You can also change the due date of the invoice. So if you don't want it due upon receipt, you can unclick that and choose a future date. So let's say I'll choose May 1st and it will update here. And you can also change this memo line, thanks for your business, by clicking here in memo and editing the message there. Next up, let's add some things for them to pay for. So we'll add a line item and we'll call this web design services. And it can be a service or a physical product. And we're going to say the quantity is one. So we'll say one means one hour. And we're going to add a price point of $250 an hour. So now we have web design services at $250 an hour. You can add a second item if you would like. So maybe this is graphic design and this is going to be $100. Now at the moment, we can't change quantity to hours. That's a feature I would like because quantity is a little awkward when you're talking about services. So hopefully that's a feature that's coming down the road. But you do have the option here of applying a discount and you can either apply a percentage discount. So let's say you're giving them a 20% off discount that will apply it here, or you can just give them a line item discount of $100 off. And you can also see how it would look on a phone. All right, let's go ahead and send our invoice. And now this panel has been updated and you can see the invoices here and their status. And if you need to, you can resend, edit, or cancel the invoice. If we go into the invoices panel, this is where you'll have a list of all the invoices that have been sent. And inside projects, this is where that project appears that we titled test project for Christy Price that the invoice was part of. If we click the right arrow here, it'll give you a little more information here. You can see milestones if you want to add them manually to keep track of things yourself doesn't really have any function associated with it, so I'm not really sure how useful this is, but this is pretty cool. You can actually see form submissions associated with this project if you have them. So lots of good information here, and once that invoice is paid, it will reflect paid here. Now let's say you do want to send out an invoice in Squarespace, but you've not yet set up any payments. This is what your invoicing page will look like initially. And you can see here on the right, there is the option to turn on Squarespace payments. So you can just click here 
and it's going to walk you through the setup for connecting Squarespace payments. Now, this is pretty cool because with Squarespace payments, you have the ability to take all of these different payments that are listed here. You can also connect PayPal or an existing Stripe account. Square here is a little confusing because that's really just used for point of sale. So if you're accepting payments in person for your invoices, that would make sense. But I don't think many of us are, so I would ignore that. And there's also a place to set your currency and you can put things in test mode to try it out. But that's how you're going to accept payments. Once that's set up, you can send out branded invoices using the process we walked through today and start getting paid. I hope you found this helpful and I wish you all the best with your website.